It's a trap. What is up guys, Al27HD here and we are bringing you a play review from this week's Team of the Week. It is pretty much the play review that all of you are after. It is of course Manchester United's Robin Van Persie getting this in form after his fantastic hat-trick to clinch the Premier League title. Sorry all you City fans, but it was going to happen. Right, initially let's have a look at his card face stats. 79 on the pace, 86 on the dribbling, 92 whoo, on the shot, 83 on the passing, 70 on the head and then... 50 on defence, who gives a fuck about defence? Uh, four star skills, four star weak foot, paid around about the 600k for him, sold him for about the 5 to 525k, so lost about 70k, add that to tax, lost probably near it. 100k but well worth it well worth picking up guys, I did wait until the Thursday, he was going for 1.1 million on the initial night and he plummeted like a stone people lost some big money on him that night team i am playing him in guys just to give you an idea is this team we've got mayuka we've got inform sessignon we've got sterling mayuka diami etc map uh, we've put uh, checking goal to give us decent goal cover so initially what is he like well i've played a lot with van persie's non-inform so i wanted to try and get a bit of a comparison is he as good as the non-inform is he better than the non-inform etc because because remember, the non-inform you can pick up for 25 to 30k. This guy is 600k. There's a massive, massive uplift of expense to get his inform, especially with team of the season imminent. And let's be honest, he is getting a team of the season card. He is going to be top of the pile for the BPL team of the season. So let's have a look and see how his in-game stats affect things. Initially, you'll see 91 ball control, 92 curve, 97 finishing. He's got 87 dribbling, 86 crossing, 93 long shots, 98 on the penalties. He's got great shot power at 96. So overall, these attributes lead you to believe he is a very good striker of the ball. He has good balance, good control. Um, you know, the ball control, the curve, the crossing, the all that kind of stuff, especially the finishing and the long shots. First off, his free kicks are peachy. Check this out for a free kick. Keeper possibly should have got hold of it, but it was so sweetly struck. Very rare that you aim for that bottom corner as in goal, goalkeeper side of the wall and actually get it to sneak in. Usually you're looking at up and over for that uh, that top right-hand corner. Ronaldo seems to do this very well. He uses powered free kick shot and it enables him to do that. But this is basically looking at Penn's dribbling watch. He uses his dribble, gets away, uses his control, is eventually brought down. We'll just speed through this footage and look how slow the bar goes for his penalties, guys. Watch how much power I'm able to generate from that penalty. And the keeper goes the right way but just has absolutely no chance here we're looking at great shot dribbling and ball control look at that outside of the left foot as you know van persie is left footed but he is so good on his right foot on this game as well i he's four star as you'll see coming up on the weak foot i didn't notice any discernible difference between his left and right foot he seemed to score with both for fun what's this guy he's pretty much in his uh, right out the way nowhere near the goal uses his pace to cut inside and how's that for a finish he's just got a deadly shot that 97 finishing really comes in and finally he can use his head as well this is looking at the finishing using heading and of course control once again in the rain no oh. Boof, straight in there. No danger whatsoever. Very versatile player, guys. Let's have a look. He's got perfect work rates. High attack, low defense. Perfect work rates. Same as Ronaldo, same as Mayuka. He is obviously a striker, which puts him head and shoulders above Ronaldo from that standpoint. Hated Ronaldo at left wing. He's always fucking left wing. Make him a striker. Let's get some money here. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skills. And that is pretty much what you're going to see in the next few clips. You're looking at his weak foot. This is basically him cutting inside gets knocked over should have been a pen in my opinion and is just as good finishing with that right foot just sneaks it in the post there with his white foot he's also perfectly in position with those work rates i never found him giving head to the defenders he was always there look at that that is with his weak foot just caresses it in as i said i found that he was as good look at that Oh yeah, and that is with his weak foot. So I found his finishing as good with his weak foot as it is with his strong foot. And as I said, work rate's perfect. Finishing is just what little dink, and it's beautiful. And that is with his wrong foot. Uh, not the greatest physical attributes. Big one that stood out for me was his acceleration. 
it felt faster than 81. He's got agility of 83 and he's got reactions of a 96. Those reactions are pretty good at 96. Uh, sprint speed, not the greatest. Reasonable attacking position, as I said. Combine that with his uh, work rates and you get a decent player. But as you can see here, guys, reactions, agility and acceleration. His acceleration is that kind of burst acceleration. If you watch, cuts in here. And that little burst, that little shoot forward of acceleration is what he seems to use. Once again, using his weak foot again. As I said, previous stuff that we discuss will come up as we move further into the review. And he is just has a wonderful burst acceleration. He isn't the quickest. His top end speed isn't the quickest. But he has a very, very good acceleration. And with the high agilities, balance, all that sort of thing, he is a player that is bloody deadly. My only concern is that his non-inform is also deadly. His non-inform is also excellent. Look out for a pass. Um, and that was my big worry with Van Persie, that you're not getting that much for uh, for your book or not that much bang for your book when you talk about the amount you are playing for this guy 79 pace to reiterate 85 86 on the dribbling 92 on the shot 83 on the passing 70 on the heading let's have a look at his good points guys biblical shot i mean fucking bible stuff you know wrath of god kind of shot with both feet he was had a powerful accurate devastating shot that very few keepers could save as you'll have seen in the review guys we're up to six minutes there's a lot of footage in there we've got a lot of goals with this guy i played 15 20 matches with him uh four star weak skills and four star weak foot my big problem, a little bit lacking in pace, not the burst acceleration, but the top end pace. I found myself on five or six occasions being caught up by defenders and dispossessed. It was frustrating, especially when I'd been used to pace whoring. Yes, I said it, I'm a pace whore. Sue me. 8.5 out of 10 is our rating, guys. I think there is little difference between him and his, his non inform um there is little difference between the two and that is why he is only getting the 8.5 very good player but so is his non-inform and in my opinion pick his non-inform up especially as it is going dirt cheap now with team of the season around the corner that is your review guys please follow me on twitter please like sub comment thank you for all the support as always and if we can hit say 400 likes for this review that would be epic take care like sub comment peace love and catch you later